Hello, my loves. Okay, I'm always watching videos of people with their great finds at thrift stores, and I never find anything. Never find anything that's, like, amazing, like the buy of the day. And, you know, it'll be a baby outfit or something for myself here and there, but nothing, like, nothing that made me clap, okay? So, anyways, I was at Goodwill with my sister the other day and the lady was bringing out the cart of stuff to put on the shelves and I saw this doll. Well, instantly I saw his hands and I could see the nails and I was like, wait a minute, that's a reborn because of his nails. Look at his nails being glossed and painted. They're not amazingly painted, by the way. But um, I saw the hands and I'm like, that's a reborn. I'm like, wait, I don't recognize the hands. So I went over and asked the lady if I could, you know, take them off the cart and she's like, sure, less for me to put away. <coughs> Excuse me, so I picked him up and looked at him, and the first thing I did was, you know, obviously looked at the back of his neck, and seeing that it was signed and numbered, so I happily, very quickly grabbed him, oh, I got hair and stuff on him, um, very quickly grabbed him, it's by Kimberly H. Durden, I believe that's how you say it, and it's, you know, numbered, and that's how I knew instantly that it was, you know, not just a regular Walmart doll, but... I I fell in love with them. And you guys ever see... Okay, I'll be that mean person. You ever see a baby that's so homely? You're just like, it's so homely. It's cute. That's how this baby is. It's so ugly that it's cute. Look at these weird ears. And I absolutely love them. They're like fat, chunky ears. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm in love with his ears. But, uh... And his big fat fingers. And he's got armatures in him, so his arms move and they can bend him. Um, I'm going to try and get one of his socks off. I looked him up while I was in Goodwill. And it is uh, Paradise Gallery's baby. It says, all the all the posts I saw said vintage. Um, and the only date I could see was 2005. I wish he had a COA with him. The only date I could see was 2005. Um, like I said, his name, the artist person is Kristen H. Duns Dunson or something. You guys, look at these toes. They curl under and they are so fat and adorable. Adorable. But I instantly, as soon as I saw him, I knew it was a, not a regular Walmart doll. Um, the only thing wrong with him is he needs, I need to stuff him. I'd like to weight him. He needs zip ties put in this leg right here is just like tucked in the clothing no big deal seeing as hell you know if i make reborns i know how to fix them but i want to restuff them get his legs in new zip ties all that good stuff and he came with this funky wig where is it oh here it is he has a funky wig on but it was it's so old that the, the glue was like not sticky it was barely sticking, and it just sits on the right top of his head, so it's like a Three Stooges mo hairdo I didn't care for, it. and I'm actually glad that it didn't. It was coming off, so I just took that off. Um, I was excited, and guess how much I paid for him? Come on, I'm waiting for you to guess. Okay, I'll tell you now. I thought I was paying $4.99. I got home, and when I looked at the receipt, I realized that it was half price, so I paid, what, $2.49? $2.49 for him. There's his perfect in perfect condition. Very clean. Whoever had him loved him. Um, he's very clean. He has his original clothes on, original hat, original well, here's a leg. Um, original socks, little ducky socks. He's the William. Um, that's the only information well, I found I found out who he is. He's he's William. Um and I can't remember all the special stuff that it said with it. But he is so I've never had a Paradise Gallery baby. Um, he's so soft and actually way softer than Reborns feel. I know there's no such thing as that silicone vinyl. Everybody wants to advertise silicone vinyl, and that doesn't exist. There's silicone or there's vinyl. But he really does feel like a hard silicone. Like, I don't know, but I'm in love with his chubbies. Look at the ears again. How ugly adorable are those? <laughs> So I'm excited. That was my buy of the day and the best buy the first time ever that I found a baby um, at my Goodwill. And it's got all his original stuff on. I absolutely love that. I wish he had a COA, but it's all good. But anyways, so that's my my spot, my find. I'm ready to, I want to wipe him down. He's very clean. There's like nothing, nothing on him. Um, 
but I want to wipe him down and get him dressed. I'm going to leave his original clothes on. I'm actually going to take his duck hat off and I'm going to tuck it in his diaper just so that I have it. I don't want to lose it all. Um, and I'm bad at storing things away. I misplace things, can never find them. So I'm just going to tuck his hat in his diaper and he'll never know. Um, and leave his onesie or whatever outfit this is on. Uh, I have another great find not a find another great purchase i want to start i want to stock up on reborn stuff so that when i'm ready to sell i'm i'm stocked up a little bit you know i'm not struggling as bad so joanne's labor day sale joanne fabrics had their labor day sale and uh it was 60 percent off a regular priced item this five pound box of fiber polyfill fiber fill was $32.99 and with my 60% off I paid $13.19. What irritated me is I had just bought a bag of polyfill for like $6.89 like a week ago and now I have a five pound box that I paid $13. 13 let's just say $13.20. But I am excited. That's an amazing savings, an amazing deal and I love savings. So these are my two my two finds with my little adventure out with my sister and I'm, I'm so excited. Who gets excited about a box of polyfill? Me. Anyways, I'm dressing my babies, getting my babies done up. Um, See, I got a stack of them. I'm supposed to be doing laundry. The whole foot of my bed is all piles of laundry that I'm, I'm not touching. I, I'm getting my babies dressed. Um, oh no, you can't see one there. Uh, my baby from Life with Sue and Jen has come. She's here. She's open. She's recorded. But... I'm having issues getting my video to upload. It keeps telling me there's a problem with the file. So what I think I'm going to wind up doing, which makes me sad because you're not going to hear my, my my natural, well, not natural, my initial reaction to opening her. But I think I'm going to do a blanket reveal because I have a feeling my video is not loading. I set it down and was painting a baby. I set it down for probably about an hour and a half uploading, and it still has not uploaded. Now it just says error. So... I think I'm going to wind up doing a blanket reveal with her. But either way, she's being shown. She's, I'm happy with her. I love her. And I just need to tweak her a little bit. There, there's issue with her body. I just need to tweak it a little bit. And she's perfect. So, anyways, those are my finds while I was out with my sister. I never find anything when I'm out at Goodwill or anywhere. And that just excited me. That's that's from Joanne Fabrics. And the lady did tell me that they're going to have more 60% off sales coming so you guys keep an eye out for that because you can't be a $33 box of polyfill for $13.19. That excited me so much. So anyways, me and William, I'm going to rename him. I got to think of a name for him. He's my first Paradise Galleries baby. And according to Google, he's vintage. So I don't know. So after a couple minor repairs, this just tucks right back in there. Um, he's going to be perfect. And I love him. I'm so happy. He's so ugly. He's flipping cute. So ugly. And I paid $2.49 for him, you guys. And look at him. He looks brand new. Like, there's nothing, nothing wrong with him at all. So, I'm so excited. I hope everybody has a beautiful day. Um, I'm going to keep working on my video. I don't like his lips. Where are your lips? Oh, I don't like his lips, but it's okay because I'm going to put a magnet in him. And then I won't see his lips as bad. So, anyways, I will chat with you guys later. Love you. Bye.